Hey, what's up, Street Talks? The Eric Kim from the Eric Kim Street Photography Blog. So, I want to talk to you a little bit about creative confidence. So, creative confidence is the lifeblood that makes us tick as visual artists, as photographers, and human beings. And honestly, I don't really think there's good or bad art out there, nor are there good or bad photographers or artists. They're only confident and unconfident photographers and artists. And even I think about fashion, honestly, fashion isn't even about like whether objectively it looks cool or not. It's do people wearing these crazy outfits have the confidence to rock it and show their swag and just not give a, a fuck about what other people think about them. And I think the most fashionable people aren't actually the ones wearing the most expensive clothes or the uh, brand name designer labels. They're the ones who are able to just have confidence in themselves and just wear whatever they want and just feel confident. And that's actually what these companies are trying to sell us. They're trying to sell us confidence. So what I'm trying to sell you is also confidence because I think as a photographer and visual artist, you have so much untapped potential in your photography and your art. And the only thing holding you back is your, probably your lack of confidence in yourself, of your creative confidence. So the, 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 the tips I would give you, first and foremost, realize that not even realize, kind of ask yourself, do I like my own pictures? Do I like my own visual art? Do I think my pictures and my art are worth sharing with other people because I believe in it? And I think the problem in modern society, especially in America, is that you're taught to be humble. That, oh, you know, you can't brag, you can't show off, you can't make other people feel bad because you're gonna hurt their feelings. As a photographer and artist, if you don't have confidence in yourselves and if you don't fake humble, you're going to have more confidence to make your art, to share your art, and essentially empower other people. So realize that your photos have value, your labor is not free, and also realize that by not sharing your pictures, by not sharing your art, you're actually kind of doing society a disservice. So that's actually one thing that uh, I've been telling Cindy is that she's an amazing poet, Go to cindyawin.com or hapticpress.com or you go see Cindy on my blog. But she's got so much dopeness and so much great ideas and she's got skills. But the only thing that was holding her back was, you know, maybe she wasn't as confident to put herself out there because, you know, it kind of sucks when people like kind of hate on you. But the biggest impetus I had to push her outside her comfort zone and for her to start sharing her work by saying, Cindy, if you could create something that could inspire even one other human being and you're not sharing it, you're kind of doing other people a disservice. So also kind of consider you too, is that you might have all these great pictures in your archive that you haven't shared, and you kind of ask, your, you want to ask yourself, well, why do you, why do I not share these pictures? Because your pictures, if they have the potential to make even one other human being on planet Earth out of like 7 billion people more empowered, more inspired, and more excited to live? You're kind of hurting that person by not sharing your art with them. So friend, I really encourage you to put yourself out there to share your art. And the best way to build creative confidence in yourself is first of all, know that your pictures are dope. Also, the second part is knowing that by not sharing your pictures, you're doing society a disservice. For myself, the way I was able to build my creative confidence in myself is, to, it was honestly, it's more just like philosophical introspection to just really sit down with yourself, look through your pictures and imagine to yourself, if someone else shot these pictures, would I like them or I think them good? And so now I'm looking at pictures I shot like two, three, four, five years ago and I actually could sit down and really be brutally honest with myself whether the pictures are any good or not. And for the ones that aren't good, I'm just like, I'm not emotionally attached to them. But for the ones I think are good, I'm like, okay, these are dope, I'm gonna share these. So once again, to build creative confidence in yourself, realize that you're empowering other people, your pictures are worth being shared, and thirdly, emotionally detach yourself and your ego from your own art, and just make stuff and share it, all right? So for more confidence, Google Eric Kim blog, and uh, stay on top of the inspiration, Inspiration means to breathe in. Without inspiration in our photography and our visual art, we would die.
So always stay inspired, always keep making art and putting yourself out there. Peace out.